I'm going to show you a couple of different ways that you can knit the twisted stockinette stitch. This purple one here is worked. I'm going to show you a couple of different ways that you can knit the twisted stockinette stitch. This first one here, the purple, is worked through the back loops on both sides of the fabric. So on the right side, you're going to knit through the back loops, and then on the wrong sides, you'll be purling through the back loops. This one here is what I learned as twisted stockinette stitch, but I've also seen it referred to as zigzag stockinette stitch because it does zigzag here, like you can see, or crossed stockinette stitch. For this one, you knit through the back loops on the right side of the fabric and then purl as normal on the wrong side. I also have a little swatch here of plain stockinette stitch so you can see the difference in all of these. The one thing they do have in common is that they curl. Stockinette stitch just curls, that's the way the fabric is. You can add extra stitches at the bottom and top of your piece and along the sides for maybe garter stitch or seed stitch to help flatten it out, but there's still probably going to be a little bit of curl. And that is true also of stitch patterns based on um, stockinette stitch, where you're purling on the wrong side of the fabric and working uh, knit stitches on the right side. And uh, the reason I mention that is because I see a lot of questions from new knitters that their um, knitting is curling and they think they've done something wrong. You're not doing anything wrong, this is just the way stockinette stitch is. So this first one that I'm going to show you, like I mentioned, you're going to be working the back loops on both sides of the fabric. And I have separate videos for working through back loops of stitches and um, plain stockinette stitch. So if you're not familiar, you can watch those videos. And this is uh, worked on any number of stitches. I have maybe 22 or so stitches here for this sample. Okay, so working into the back loop of all stitches. And this is the right side that we're working from now. Oop. This yarn does not move very well on these wooden needles. There we go. It might be a little awkward at first working into the back loops, but with practice, it's not too difficult. And then the wrong side, let's purl through the back loop, which is pretty awkward. But again, with practice, it's really not difficult. So instead of going into the stitch like this, you want to turn it a little bit if you have to and grab the loop that's on the back of the work and come up like that and purl. I think the first stitch is the most awkward. So just grabbing that stitch from behind and purl. And 
And this particular way of working the twisted stockinette is the way I believe it is in the first Walker Treasury. Which is a very good stitch dictionary and if you only have one or two stitch dictionaries in your library it should be you should at least have one of the Walker Treasuries, I think. A lot of stitch options in those and other good information about knitting. It's just those two rows, of course, just like regular stockinette stitch, but you're working through the back loops on both sides of your fabric. So there's that one. Now the other way that you could do that, and this is what I learned as twisted stockinette stitch, kind of makes the zigzag fabric Again, you're going to be working the first row through the back loop. So again, just knit all stitches through the back loop. Then on the wrong side, you can just purl as normal. Oops. So that's it for the twisted stockinette stitch.